Mike Patzold here from WorkAtHomeStress.com. This is four tips to beat the time wasters and reduce your stress. First, understand that running your own work at home business can be stressful. Nothing can create stress faster than not having enough time now. Every time you get into a time crunch, you can just feel your stress levels rising up. To avoid that, try applying these four tips into your daily routine. It'll be hard at first and may even feel quite uncomfortable. Soon, though, time will not be adding to your stress. 1. Set a timer. This always amazes me. It's okay to take a break and get your head clear. When the timer goes off, take a break. The key is to set that timer and stick to it, though. I mean, I love Twitter and interacting with my friends and finding new things. And often I'll allocate 10 minutes to open TweetDeck and see what's new and interact with people. If I don't set a timer, 10 minutes becomes 45 minutes or an hour or more. Now all of a sudden I'm in a time crunch. It's very easy to become engrossed in things when you're enjoying them, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or just talking to friends on Skype. If you set a timer, you will be reminded it's time to go back to bell, to work when the bell rings. Kind of like school, but it does work. The same thing applies to forum, Facebook, surfing blogs, checking YouTube, uh, and all the other places. It's easy to stop for just a few minutes to all of a sudden it's become an hour or more. You want to schedule downtime, and this is very important. Now, working for myself, I often have the strictest boss I've ever had. Okay, more than once I've gone hours straight to get a project done. Then, then you turn a crash and you burn big time. When I schedule regular breaks, I come back fresh, more efficient. I, I found that just a 15-minute break can clear the mind and, and bring you back, and then you can concentrate again, and you're much, much more efficient. By increasing that efficiency and concentration level, you get more done. Uh, three is... Multitasking the right way. I mean, everybody talks about multitasking. Multitasking can be a killer when you try to concentrate on a project. Each interruption sets you back until you get back into the flow, and it's 10 minutes or more until you get back into the level where you were before you were interrupted. Now, that being said, there's some things that are perfect for multitasking. Uh, when I take my walk, it's perfect to throw on the iPod. I can listen to the teleseminar or training audio I wanted to hear that I downloaded. These type of multitasking are good and time savers. Compare that to trying to work on two projects and getting nothing done on either of them. Okay, those are killers. That type of multitasking ruins your concentration on both items. <laughs> Despite knowing that, it happens to us all. Come on, I know you've done that. I've done it more than once. It always takes longer and I get less done in the same time frame. Four is to track what you do. If you cannot measure it, you cannot improve it. It doesn't apply just to your web traffic and stuff. Track how much time you give to the time suckers. I keep track of how long it takes you to do a task. Uh, this will show you where you spend your time. If you don't know where you're spending your time, it's hard to do this. And this is probably the most uncomfortable tip I'm giving you. Okay, it's hard to track your own time, and it's very uncomfortable. You will find out, though, what you're doing that's productive. Just as important, you'll find where you're wasting your time, so you're aware of it. If you eliminate those unproductive things you are doing just by rote, you'll have more time and a whole lot less stress. Apply these four tips, and you'll end up working much more efficiently, and your stress will be much, much less. Grab your free report, Stop Work at Home Stress at workathomestress.com. This has been Mike Patesold from workathomestress.com.